Selamat tengah hari Ini adalah demo Augmented Reality Science tahun 4 okay, Bila kita buka page photosynthesis Page 64 uh, uh, Dan kita tutup uh, page itu Dia tak appear apa-apa Augmented Reality lah okay. Bila kita biarkan keseluruhan screen uh, Augmented Reality akan keluar Tapi bila kita tukar page yang kita tidak uh, daftarkan uh, Di bawah Augmented Reality Dia tak akan keluar apa-apa So mari lihat kontennya Hello everyone I'm Cikgu Maya. I am from Dream Edge School. The living things in the world need to get food to survive. For instance, human being eats rice and meat. Animals eat plants or meat. Have you ever wonder how do the plants get their food? Ha! Plants also need food to survive, but they don't eat by mouth. Because they don't have mouth. <laughs> Plants produce their own food. The process calls photosynthesis. Now, let's see the process of photosynthesis and what plants need to produce their own food. Plants need three basic things to live. They are sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. But where does the process happen? Photosynthesis process takes place in the leaf of plants. To begin, human and animal are the source of carbon dioxide to plants. We release carbon dioxide into the air, then carbon dioxide enters the plants through the fine pores on the leaf. Baik, kita juga boleh tukar bahasa ya, bahasa Inggeris dan juga bahasa Melayu. Manusia dan haiwan adalah antara sumber utama karbon dioksida. Kita menghembuskan karbon dioksida ke udara. Kemudian, karbon dioksida diserap masuk ke tumbuhan melalui pori-pori halus yang terdapat pada permukaan daun. At the same time, water enters through the roots. Kita bebas hmm. untuk menggerakkan rice kita untuk zoom Plants in kepada data-data data 3D yang ada Or, uh, tapi kita tidak boleh keluar daripada plants. kawasan uh, buku teks tersebut lah. Of course, photosynthesis needs sunlight as the source of energy. So, chlorophyll absorbs the sunlight. Once the process complete, oxygen will exit from the fine pores on the leaf and ta-da! We breathe the oxygen to live. Apabila proses ini telah selesai, oksigen akan dilepaskan dari pori-pori halus pada daun. Dan tada! Kita dapat menghirup oksigen untuk terus hidup. Baik, saya ke page seterusnya, buku surat 154 iaitu berkenaan solar system. Okey, sama juga bila saya tutup dia takkan keluar apa-apa. Mari kita lihat kontennya. Hello everyone. How do you do? I'm Cikgu Maya. I am from Dream Edge School. Have you ever looked up to the sky and wondered what was there? Let's imagine for a moment that we can leave the earth behind and explore the solar system. What do you think of when you hear the word planet? I'll bet you think of earth because you live on earth. Am I right? Do you know, planets are amazing places full of mystery and wonder. Solar system has eight major planets. They circle around the sun. Do you want to explore the planets? Come with me. This is Earth, my favorite planet. In kilometer, the size of Earth's diameter is 12,756 kilometers. It is equivalent to 1 million school buses in a row. Wow, that's big. Let's take a look to the layers of the Earth. The Earth is made from five layers. Be careful, these layers are extremely hot. Let's see the whole solar system. This is Mercury. Mercury is the planet closest to the Sun. It is not, however, 
very close since it is 58 million kilometers away from the sun. Mercury goes round the sun so quickly, it takes only 88 days of the orbit. Ini adalah Utarit. Utarit adalah planet yang terdekat dengan matahari. Tapi, walaupun paling dekat, jarak antara matahari dan Utarit adalah sejauh 58 juta kilometer. Utarit. This is Venus. Venus is the brightest planet in the solar system. Do you want to know a secret? Shh. Venus can be seen even in daylight if you know where to look. Hmm. Venus orbits round the sun in 225 days. Venus is the planet which is closest to the Earth. And this is Jupiter. Jupiter is the giant of the solar system. As it is very light, Jupiter spins round much faster. This is Saturn. This is Uranus. Uranus consists of gas. Uranus. This is Neptune. It takes Neptune 165 years to orbit the Sun. Wow, that's even longer than Saturn. Ini adalah Neptune. Neptune mengambil masa selama 165 tahun untuk mengelilingi matahari. Wow, itu lebih lama daripada Zuhal mengelilingi matahari. Zuhal adalah planet yang paling sejuk dan jauh dalam sistem solar. Sekian itu saja penerangan tentang buku teks AR. Terima kasih.